My name is Tyrell Alejandro, and this is Real Ones, and I'm sitting here with... Zach Fox. Wait, that doesn't feel right. Hold up, hold up. I think it's cool. Hold up, wait a minute. I think it's um, cool. Why don't you sit here? I'm going to sit there. Okay, we'll yeah, switch. Yeah. We'll switch. We'll switch. Up. We'll switch. All right. All right. All right, let's run it now. Hold up. Let's <laughs> a little better. All right, hold up. What's up, y'all? My name is Rick Squirrel. I mean, uh, Tyrell Alejandro. And this is Real Ones. I'm here with... Zach Fox. I don't even like being this close to this They might cast him instead. You think I can get those documents, my boy? If you need a Zach Fox thought, I'm right saying. here, y'all. Yeah. lose weight. If I tell you this building will probably, like, get drone strike, I'd be in niggas' business. Right, yeah. right. How's tour been so far? Really fun, uh, really amazing. Uh, yeah, my fans are coming out in droves. Uh, the shows are very fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm just having a good time, man. And what's been your favorite city so far? Ooh, that's a tough call, uh, but I'm gonna have to say Phoenix, Arizona was a sleeper city. I didn't know I had like fans like that in Phoenix. I didn't know Phoenix had like great food and like, I think anywhere that's like really, really hot, uh, like that has like bad bitches and like and like good food if there's a sports team, you know, right. what I mean? and that's Phoenix And they got like the strongest crackheads I've ever seen like ever walking around elaborate like, on that They're not like you know how most crackheads have like a pod yeah. like they, they like stick together Right. These are all lone wolves and they all got their own like you know, shopping cart and they own like operation. Like going they don't, on. they don't even work together at all type no. shit. Like they don't even share a cup, none of that. All solo, all solo, and all swole. You think it's got something to do with the heat? It's the heat. I think it's like uh, strongest. You know, for uh, like fittest. Right, like a you know, for yourself. It's like situation. evolution. Yeah, Damn, yeah. Damn, word. Yeah. Shit, you think I can get those documents, my boy? Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So one thing I wanted to ask. Do you really be eating dehydrated mango with henny? Uh yeah yeah for sure for sure I try out something different with the henny. Uh, like every show, Henny in a hollowed out banana peel, a cored out apple uh, with Henny in it. Even right now, Monk got the Henny and the mango. Oh shit. Yeah, off, off you know camera. what? I kind of want to see that happen. Yeah, Can we yeah. see this? Yeah, so, you know, I can't really do it right now because I don't have a cup or an apparatus, but you know, oh, you basically take the. There's a cup. You know, I got a cup right here. Shit, is there a second cup? I, I, I gotta try this out. Hold up. You know, so we can let it kind of like. Sit and, and cook while, while yeah, no, we got to come back to this. We'll, we we'll come back to this at the end. We'll let this so, simmer. So this you can keep asking your little questions and word, then, word, and I'll make your drink, you know. Another thing I gotta ask about is your criticisms of Ed Sheeran. Yeah, it seems like you and Ed Sheeran, whether he knows it or not, have a long standing beef. Uh -huh. I mean, you say right here, I will slap the shit out of Ed Sheeran. He didn't do nothing, I just want to hit him. Mm -hmm. is, is that really how you feel? I think that day, I was just like, I think I had been drinking this that day, actually. <laughs> Anything is possible. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's, he's like, so talented. He's, like, he's really, like, a, a very talented dude. But it's just something about the way that nigga's built. I just, like, I want to nah, fight him. I feel him. you. It's I like, still want to. built like that for I, I, I want to fight him. I don't know what it is. Because I was going to say, this and shit And I feel goes, like he would give me a run for my money. I'm this shit goes lie. deep. I mean, my nigga's barbaric. Shit could get ugly as fuck like Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Uber driver playing Ed Sheeran. I'm about to put him in a sleeper hold on the highway. <laughs> Damn, I forgot I said that. That's crazy. <laughs> like, this shit is deep. Yeah. Damn, you going... Oh, you got more? And then this, this is uh, our editor, Ben, right here. Yeah, he do give me that vibe. Does he piss you off? Should we get him out hey, the room? listen, man. I mean, you, if you got something just to back say, up, Just know. back up. Yeah, just back up. Just back up. Let's all respect the talent, please. Something's just like uh, off. It's like off-putting. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, when you got that build, right? And then you can like write like perfect songs, like ten out of ten perfect songs, and right. like sell out like the biggest arenas in the world. I'm like that nigga high and something. Right. Right. You know? And then like you remember that one week? It seemed like every time you saw that nigga, he was in like a new video with some rapper you never heard of, except right. for Kodak. Kodak right. was like the only nigga I, I heard of, but right. he was like doing all these songs with niggas. It's like every week it was a right. new nigga he was doing a song with, like. We need Ed, to watch him. Ed Sheeran doing a feature sale? This is crazy. I'm just saying we need to watch him. They need to bug his crib. I you agree. Know? I, think, uh, I think he's a psyop. <laughs> you know? I don't think Ed Sheeran like, came up. I think he was deployed. Wow. You know? Deployed. Yeah. I think Ed Sheeran is the next phase of uh, CoIntel Pro. You know wow. what I mean? Wow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he, they get him. See? Yeah. They get him close to all these big rap niggas, and then, yeah. Damn, dude. He, he's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's like the Space Jam ball of, of <laughs> entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, he gonna get close to these niggas, right. and then they touch him, and then he takes their powers. Damn. You know? So the next big Kodak Black song won't even be a Kodak Black song. It'll be, be an Ed Sheeran song. song. Damn. 
you've been suspended a lot of times on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite? I have a favorite. Well, my favorite is like one time when I wasn't even doing anything and I just got suspended. But I think my favorite was when that kid was talking about selling lemonade at the border to support Trump's wall. And uh, I posted a picture of a nigga driving like POV, I'm driving, I'm, <laughs> POV, yeah. I'm about to run this nigga over <laughs> at the wall, at the border wall, and, and I, was, I was off of there for like, a, till the, like the pandemic, I Wow, think. Yeah, that's for crazy. like a year, yeah. Are there any of them that you think were like unfair? Like you shouldn't have gotten suspended for that All shit? of them. There's not one of them that, that stands out? I think one time I like, somebody uploaded uh, the entirety of the movie Cars 2 <laughs> to X videos, and I <laughs> screenshotted just the time, and there's nothing pornographic on the page. Right, it's just cars But too. you could tell it's on X video, so I screenshotted that and I made it my banner on Twitter. And because it was from a porn site, they Damn. kicked me off. <laughs> That's kind of funny yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it you who said uh, white fathers when they just murdered their family and it's mm -hmm. like the nigga on the jet ski? Yeah, yeah. Something about your tweets, like, they come true. Mm -hmm. It's almost like prophecy. Yeah. Which leads me to this. How does it feel to be four or five years early on the whole Kanye shit with the Hitler was a good guy. Like, you literally tweeted this shit yeah. in 2018. Yeah, I mean, I love Kanye. He's one of my favorite people in the world. He's like, he's a musical, you know, hero. He's from the city we right. are in right now. Right, we in Chicago. But um, dumbass niggas are actually really easy to, like, predict. I don't even think this was that crazy, you know what I mean? Like, dumb niggas kind of do, like, the same, like, three or four things, you know what I mean? Like, Word. So is that all there is to it? You're good at reading, like, dumbass niggas? Or are you, like, because I feel like there's something you know that we don't. No, there's just, like, I think there's, like, four to five dumbass nigga pipelines. Okay. And if you can plot where somebody is at on one, you can kind of see where they're headed. You know what I mean? It's kind of like how people, like, look at stocks and they're like, oh, my God, like, these economists, you know right. what I mean? They're, like, right. gurus or whatever. It's not that they're gurus. They're just really good at pattern matching. And, right. like, they've watched patterns and studied patterns since, like, the Great Depression and then like the right. Cold War and shit. I'm like that, but with petty nigga drama. It's one of those things where it's like, if you're gonna be talented at something, like be talented at what you want to be talented at. Yeah, yeah. Some people, you know, study stocks. Some people right. study anthropology. Some I be people in, study dumbass niggas. I be in niggas business. Right. Yeah. Right. I be in niggas business. What sure. What are some of the dumbass nigga options in the pipeline? I'm kind of curious. Oh I mean, man. We, we got we got Hitler was a good guy. That's one. That's got to be one. Yeah, and that's kind of just a weird offshoot. It's not specifically a hotel. But it is, it is in the varietal. You Word. know what I mean? So like, that, that's one of them, the Hotep niggas? Yeah. There's, that's the pipeline? I'd say there's like two big dumbass nigga strains, like Sativa and Indica. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? One of them is self-righteous, and the other one is self-deprecating. Mm. You know what I mean? So self-righteousness can lead to Hotep stuff, which right. can lead to, you know, uh, 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 being apologetic for warmongers or, you know, misogyny and right. stuff like that. The self-deprecating shit is more just like Kodak Black on meth. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I could have predicted Kodak Black being yeah. on meth, but also anybody could have. <laughs> just nobody said it because it's sad. Yeah. You know? I, I don't know anyone who, who wants to <laughs> predict that shit. <laughs> Um, but yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I miss a lot, you know? I thought Taylor Swift was going to convert to Islam at some point this wow. year. And we, we have... A she converted to the NFL. We have a couple months left, but Word. it's not looking hopeful. If it happens, if Taylor Swift converts to Islam, you heard it here first. Remember this. Yeah. Remember this. And at this point, even if she flirts with the idea, I'll take it. No, that's good enough, honestly. <laughs> I'll take honestly, it, you know? That's that's a pretty bold prediction. Yeah. I'm gonna be looking out for that for real. If if Taylor Swift is seen in the club reciting ASAP Ferg and she says Alhamdulillah, I'm gonna take that as a win. I'm gonna take that as. Right. She rapping that song at all? I think you got it. <laughs> I think you got it. Ayo Debiri just posted this photo with you, Paris, Texas, Sushi Boy, Mexico at her party. Mm -hmm. How was that party? Oh, that should incredible. look crazy as hell. Incredible. Yeah, the nigga that played Elvis was in there. Oh yeah. Which Elvis? The new one. Not the new new one. Awesome. Mm. Yes, that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. word. Yeah, yeah. Okay, word. Incredibly gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, they got to tone that shit now. That's crazy. Yeah. Was there anyone there that you were like, damn, I've always wanted to meet you. That's kind of crazy. We're in the room right now. Oh, man. Um, Bo Burnham was there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, he's tall. He's tall Is he really? as fuck. Yeah, he's like the... Uh, 
You know the real dumbass Monstar from Space Jam? <laughs> yeah. The one that was like light blue and like kept hitting his head on shit? Right. He's like that big. That's crazy. Yeah, I would have yeah. never thought. He looked like such an average nigga on camera. I know. He's just a big, silly motherfucker. It's Damn. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I met him. Tried to hug him, but my face was too close to his dick. So <laughs> um, we just dapped up. <laughs> Did you dap up his dick? Huh? You dapped up his dick? Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. I just, I just <laughs> dapped him up. If I hugged the nigga, it would have been like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Speaking of Sushi Boy Mexico, y'all just dropped a skit yesterday. Tell me more about like the making of that shit. That shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, that was uh, by my homie John Salmon, who's a really good director, writer. Mexico, I've known for like 10 years. He's one of the funniest people I know from Atlanta. So we always try to find opportunities to just be funny on camera together right and he had a really cool like short script that he's like trying to use to launch uh, a film basically okay. and uh yeah we were just like chilling you know we riff all day every day so when somebody it was just kind of like doing what we normally do but in a professional setting type of shit absolutely that's yeah, fine yeah Tell me more about your friendship with Sushi Boy, because I know he was on your album. Yeah. Is he going to be on, you know, any new stuff you got coming out? For sure, for sure. I'm trying to, uh, the same way white people deployed Ed Sheeran right. on the music You're industry. You're trying to deploy your niggas. I want to deploy him into the acting world. Okay. I, I feel like he's very a very much needed voice. I just want to make sure all my funny friends are, you know, being put on and have, like, opportunities yeah. to show their skills and shit. Right. And, you know be drunk idiots. I feel like there's too much shiny black stuff in mm. Hollywood and we need some more some more some ashy more like gritty shit. some ashy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no, that's, uh, that's more, real. Everything's yeah. like too polished at too a sense. Like it's like it's yeah. got to be like acceptable for like the white eye almost where it's like, "Oh, we got to like really be at the top of our gear cuz you know, they gave us a spot type shit." Yes. Where it's like, "Nah, just let us be us type shit." Yeah. I you won't get be, better art that way. Exactly. Like we need some rabble rousers, you know what I mean? Everything can't be like respectable. It's got to right. be kind of You need some disrespectful niggas. You need some in idiotic. Cuz right. I mean, that's what white people get to do. You got every spectrum of white entertainment, right. you know what right. I mean? Like you got the cut clean, you know what I mean? But Right, you got your Charlie Sheen. Exactly. But then, <laughs> you know, white folks got like, I don't know. Monk, what's that boy name? Um Stavros, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. yeah. I'm not losing the for this. My son is the tooth. Stavi is yeah. the nigga of white people. He's actually white. Dude. They're looking at him like he he can't come over here. He's like, I don't care, because he's building out his own little sandcastle, you know? Right. So you just mentioned ATL. You ever been to Magic City? Of course. I was oh gonna say God. I need context personally behind that photo of you looking like mad and different, holding <laughs> stacks and a stripper shaking ass on you. Yeah, that was actually at uh, Onyx in Houston. Okay, was yeah. that one of the neurodivergent strippers? No, no, oh. that's in Portland. Oh. That's in Portland. Oh, you know what? I at, think I did just read that tweet. You were talking yeah. about it with uh, Thelonious from out here. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's uh, that's Casa Diablo. Casa Diablo, good yeah, to know. Yeah, yeah. If you want to sit down with a stripper and like talk about what's going on in Ukraine, go to Casa Diablo. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, they, they know geopolitics and they software engineers right. and stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah. You can get some geopolitics with a side of ass. That's yeah. fire. Yeah. Isn't that what we all want? Oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> a thousand percent. Isn't that what we're asking for? Right. I, I just want a side of ass with everything, if I'm mm -hmm. being honest. Some educated ass. Obviously, you're on Abbott Elementary mm -hmm. as Tariq. You fucking killed that shit. What was it like, like working on that show and working with like someone like Quinta Brunson, who's such a genius in my eyes? It was really fun because ABC Universal is a well-oiled machine, so like everything's already you know completely ready for you to jump in the in right. the cockpit and fly the plane. You know what I mean? There's nothing being figured out when, once the camera's on, and it moves so quick that you know you got to kind of like enjoy it while you're in it because you're like damn like we just did a whole episode right like, it's like damn it's a rap on me like, that's crazy y'all are so professional but uh working with quince is a breeze we've known each other since like 2017 2018 she was one of the first people i met oh, wow. in the la comedy scene when i moved out there from atlanta that's crazy. she put me on a comedy show and, oh, shit. and immediately was just like i don't know what you're on you're you're insane but like i'm rocking with you're it. you're funny i'm rocking with you and so we've been locked in and the role came along, and I was like, look, I'm finna come there and hoop with you. Like, come on. Word. Yeah. Did, they, did they let you, like, ad-lib at all on the show? Because the one episode where you're doing the rap, and you're like, man, look at this stage man of Shorty. She, she on drugs. She could have died. Like, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. shit was crazy. Yeah, no, and as crazy as that stuff is, that's all praises to the Abbott Elementary writing team. Damn. That's that's Brittany Nichols. That's Kate Peterman. That's Jordan Temple. That's 
that's all of them. That's Quinta Brunson, you know what yeah. I mean? Like I'm missing some names, but they just know how to write adjacent to my voice and in my voice voice already so by the time no, I come there because like that line specifically I would have never known I don't have to I don't have to change a word right. once I get there that's why we like nigga pay the writers like pay these no, motherfuckers a thousand like, percent yeah. pay them fucking writers for yeah, real yeah yeah they do their shit shit can we expect you on that show anytime in the future uh, if I tell you this building will probably like get drone striked or something okay. like that like we, I, yeah. we don't, so we'll you know hey I didn't ask shit I didn't ask shit my fault Quinta I didn't ask shit please though please <laughs> I'm begging. We striking. We striking. We strike that. I don't even like being this close to this nigga. They might cast him instead. Yo, Yo, listen. If you need a stunt double, if you need a Zach Fox stunt double, I'm right here. Yo, I'll lose weight. Hook me up with one of them Hollywood trainers. Yo, I'll lose the fucking weight. Let me know. Put me on with John Stamos, guy. He got a good guy. We want the season one Tariq again. We gonna get this nigga. It's like damn, nigga. Like damn, I lost too much weight for the role now. Zach Fox on that Ozempic. They don't want it. <laughs> That's crazy. I shouldn't laugh at that. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> You've been working on a lot of music. You've been dropping a lot of singles lately. Yeah. Is there an album on the way? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do a project, but I definitely want to like. I want to work my way up to that and like keep doing singles so I can like focus on. You know, I really like making cool videos with my friends. Right. And, and doing stuff that's kind of unexpected for me and for a rapper to do. And uh, yeah, I think like, you know, I want to drop a project once there's enough material out there. 100%. Is there anyone you worked with that you're like, holy shit, I can't believe we're in the stew right now type shit uh, that you can talk about? Really everybody I've worked with, I'm like amazed and grateful about, you know, Alchemist, insane. You right. Know? I've been right. listening to Alchemist since he had a black person lineup. You know, hold you down. Niggas don't know about hold you down. With Nina, with Nina, Monk, was it Nina Scott? Even. <laughs> <laughs> he's, wow. he's like a part of my childhood, so, you know, for him to like lend a hand with music, Thunder, right. Thundercat for sure. Um, Benny X, even before Benny X was like at where he's at, Drake, I, was, right. I was still like, you know, when we started working together, I was like, this dude needs to be making music for like, the biggest musicians in the world, yeah. and he's going to, you know what right. I mean? Like, yeah, he's incredible. You and Kenny got anything else in the vault? We got some stuff, but like, we 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 gonna keep it on the tuck. We gonna keep it up. The next thing me and Kenny drop, gotta be like a, I don't know, like a line of egg rolls or something. Like, I feel like our relationship, we've like done so much, and I'm like, man, we just need to do some other shit. You know what I mean, we need no, to drop 100%. like a, a line of male, like men's underwear with like, with pads in them, that's like extra absorbent. What is it absorbing? Like pee and, you know, like extra, like, you know, you know what I'm talking I, about. I, I do. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, like, who you know are you trying a, to sell to right now? You know when a nigga leaking, like, a little bit. When a nigga leaking a little bit. I, I cannot say I'm a leaker. This. I've not leaked. He knows about this. You know you, when you, you, you leak a before? little bit leaking. I don't know. He, he looking like he leaking. That's true. Bro, women, right women leak. Men leak. My music don't, you know? My shit don't leak. Like, but I'm saying, you've never been a little bit like, like after the pee, and then there's like a little bit on your jaws? You wipe your dick? You wipe your dick? I would rather wipe my dick than wash pee out of my You know what I'm I'm a dick wiper. Or, or you can have a pad. I mean, you can use the tissue. Like, it's what it's there for. I see where you're going with this. You can have a pad. I'm not against the pad. Yeah. But is is a pad like better than like using like one piece of tissue? Just like wipe that shit off real clean? Alpha Maxi pad. Alpha pad. Alpha pad. <laughs> I'm saying, okay, yeah, the okay. after pee, wiping, you're, okay, wiping, you're something wiping when you pee, yes. But what if you get, but what if you get scared when you walking around? You know what you gotta do? You gotta market it to the niggas that buy dude wipes. They'll go crazy over that shit. Yeah. Alpha undies or some shit. You get to a girl's crib and you just, you gotta have a it's like, oh shit, let me just toss out my pad. I'm good to go. Nice. I like it. Throw, it, throw that pad in the trash. Might change how we look at Roe versus White. Come on, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm doing everything, bro. I'm getting a vasectomy. I'm gonna do it all. A vasectomy? Yeah. I'm, Isn't that painful? Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Snip, snip, not painful? Nope. They, they, they numb you. Yeah, you're good. Oh you're shit. Raising the kid. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. I guess that's, uh, that is more painful. Yeah. Yeah. I got some documents here for you to look at. 
that uh, helped lead to this moment. These are all the times niggas have said I look like you. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. Some niggas said I look like Zat Fox and Jonah Hill at the same time. Valid. Valid. Wow. This girl comes up to me and says, you know who you look like? And I'm like, who? Knowing what she's going to say. She's like, you ever seen your Abbott Elementary? I was like, are you going to say Janine's boyfriend? And she goes, yes. This is the fifth time this week a motherfucker told me I look like Zach Clark. <laughs> it was. This is a stack. Thing. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Somebody said you look like uh, somebody said you look like Rick Squirrel. Yeah, and then this is this is my 2K nigga. I actually oh, named my 2K Rick nigga Squirrel. Rick Squirrel in That's honor sick. of uh, that funny ass tweet. This is hard. And then this was uh we actually got to interview Paris Texas two months ago, uh -huh. and this is right outside Lincoln Hall where they were performing. And some nigga really thought I was you and asked for a pic. And tagged you. Yeah, no, he tagged you. Yeah, he tagged me. But I went and I found it. Wow. But that nigga tagged you. I was like, I, I couldn't break his heart, you know. <laughs> I, d I didn't want to tell him, especially like after like 10 other niggas in line were like, yo, you really do look like him, blah, blah, blah. And then this random nigga was like, yo, you look like Zach Fox. Can I get a picture? I was like, ah. damn. I was like looking at the niggas in the background like, yo, don't don't break this nigga heart right now, bro. Just just, just go with it. I feel like we're we're wasting this like doppelganger opportunity. Like we need to do something like big. I'm you know I mean? listen, I'm ready. Whenever yeah. whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Type shit. Here's what we do. You you. Okay. And then I'm like just not where you are. Okay. And then everyone's gonna be like Zach Fox. I have an alibi. I was at Magic City. Right. I was at Magic City. I was gonna say I know exactly the place yeah. you gotta be. Eating wings. Eating wings. And I've eaten all like a whole platter. You know what I mean? So there's definitely. Why? Right. So they're like hours. they're like damn that nigga been there. You need to make sure like. One of the strippers are like, oh, I gave him a dance an hour ago. Like, yes, yes, yes. I gotta stay in there from like 3 p.m. till. Damn, you might really, we might really have something here. We, we gotta flesh this out a little yeah, more for yeah, sure. Yeah, like, we have to do like a biggest. We gonna run this back later. You can forget about that camera. <laughs> but uh, you became known as a funny nigga on Twitter, well known for your tweets, and then you managed to transition that into not only music career but a television career as well. I want to know a bit about like what your journey from then to now has been like. Really chaotic, like not uh, making sense at all. It is chaotic, but like when I got on Twitter originally, nobody knows the story. I went to Adult Swim. Walter Newman doesn't work there anymore, so I can, I can air him out. I went to Adult <laughs> Swim. I quit my job and I was like, I don't want to work in like food service anymore in my early 20s. I went to Adult Swim. I was like, look, I'll do anything to work here because like that was my favorite shit at the right. time. All my favorite shows were there, like all my favorite cartoons. So I was like, well, I want to work in TV. I want to work in animation. So I'm going to go over here and just like try to be around it. I met with Walter Newman. I had nothing, like no credits, no money, no nothing. And, uh, you know, he, he's the guy who's basically like responsible for like Loiter Squad and okay. like, a lot of like really big shows on Adult Swim. Hey, like the heyday of Adult Swim. And I was like, look, man, give me an inter internship. I'll mop the floors. Like I'll clean the bathroom. Like I just want to work here. And he was like, look, like, you know, I could tell you're like, passionate and talented and funny, but like, you know, this adult swim, a bunch of people who were kind of like doing their own thing came together and made this happen. Right. So our shit naturally gravitates and works with other people who are already kind of doing their own thing. Right. So he's like, you should just go do your own thing and figure out what that is. And then like stuff like this will just like come to you. You won't even have to go like Damn, interesting. chase it. You know what I mean? And uh, back then I was just like doing illustration and shit with like awful records and then I like got on Twitter and I was just like tweeting heavy and trying to like just like show people I'm like funny and I know how to write right. jokes and shit no, like that. No, hundred percent. Because being funny on the internet, like being written out funny, like that's totally different it's, than it's a different thing. Vocal yeah. humor. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I respect like all types of like IG sketch comedy, whether you do it on TikTok, whether you do it on YouTube. Right. But I was never like on the internet to be like, this is gonna be the thing forever. I was I was always kind of like, I want to use this as the the thing that pivots me to where I want to go. It, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah, and that's kind of how I met everybody and, and got involved in my interests, you know? Ironically, that's pretty good advice from that guy, even though that was probably a cop-ass answer at the time. Like, you might have felt that way. For sure. I was like, y'all could definitely give me an internship. Right. I know y'all can. Like, right. But, you know, I'm going to listen to you right now. But I love Walter. Like, and we ended up working together, like, right. years, years later. In like, due time type shit. Yes. Damn, in that's due fire. Time, we ended up working together. We still talk and, like, chat to this day. He's, like, a really good mentor. And, yeah. Like, Damn. Yeah. That's awesome how that whole thing came back around. Yeah. Yeah. I think, if anything, it's a testament to just, like, you know, bet on your own 
stuff bet on your own like humor and just like run full force like don't don't look for like companies or you know entities to like validate what you're doing yeah yeah like just go do it and they'll they'll come later word that's that's very good advice hey and then what's your end goal with everything like you've made it thus far where do you want to go where do you kind of like see yourself yeah i mean like at the in the beginning of uh my career, I was definitely like, I want to, you know, make TV. I want to make films. I want to make music. I want to like help other people make their things respectively right. out of those fields. You know what I mean? I want to do it all, man. I'm trying to like act. I want to, you know, develop my own series. I want to develop cartoons, and I'm kind of like just sitting doing all that. And I think as time goes on, the rest of the Zach Fox iceberg will reveal itself right. to. To the you fans. don't even know what it looks like. Some of it I don't know. Some of it I do. Some of it I've been working on for a long time, right. and it's just stuff that I can't like, you know, necessarily share with y'all. Right, it's right. Not as no, quickly, 100%. It's not as quick as putting out like songs. And right, stuff, which, right. It's stuff that takes years and years, yeah. and like you've already put in probably a couple years into the work. Yeah. So it's like you just gotta see it through at this point. Just gotta see it through. So like I think that stuff will be revealed, and there's stuff that I'm probably gonna be like, what the fuck? I didn't even expect. Not fast. That well, shit. shit. If you need coming. any actors. Hey, come on. I'm with it. Come I'm on, with it. I, we I, gotta... I did a little bit of acting back in the day. You know? <laughs> I got a film degree if I need to pull it out. <laughs> hey, fuck it. I'm just going to have you act as me like when some shit go down and I got to be on tour. Any meetings you while don't want to attend, send me to them. shooting, yeah, I'm going to send you. Wait, yeah. wait, what did you so say? So I'm going to be on tour right. like doing music and right. you're going to go act. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we're just collecting the checks. Yeah, like any meetings you don't want to go to, just like like I'll put sunglasses on. Yeah. I'll put a hat. I'll just show up. They'll yeah. be like, damn, nigga, you gained a little bit of weight, but fuck yeah. it. All right, this is the rundown. <laughs> it won't be that surprising, I think. They'll be like, damn, this nigga went to Magic City again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he unbigged his back and then bigged it again. <laughs> <laughs> unbigged the back, yeah. <laughs> unbigged, big back. We do this segment called Highest in the Room. Mm-hmm. What's the highest you've ever been? Oh, man. The highest I ever been was uh, at this party in L.A. I was on ketamine, like, trying to pretend like I was reading a coffee table book about women in architecture. Okay. Malia Obama walked in, and I was so fucked up. I swear to God, I saluted her when she walked in. <laughs> and uh, she, she just kind of looked at me like, man... Go on somewhere, you know. She gave, me, <laughs> she gave me the go on somewhere eyes, and I was like, "That's like, my fault, OG." My fault, my fault. You're right. You're right. I'm tripping. Yeah, that's funny as fuck. Of all people, that's hilarious. <laughs> and then, since this is real ones, one thing we always ask is, uh, shout out a real one in your life. It could be anyone, friend, your mom, sibling. It's a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, shout out mom for sure. Shout out mom. You know, she chilling at the crib right now, back in LA. I got her veneers this year, nice. so yeah, she got that Steve Harvey smile. She real happy right now. She she looked great. You miss her while you're on the road? Uh, yeah, I always miss mom. Yeah, that's like that's like my best friend. You know what I mean? She's that's my confidant. She's one of the funniest people I know. You know? That's she, where you get it from? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it's mom. It's, that's yeah, real. yeah, it's I, I mom. Same way. Yeah, yeah. You know, southern southern black women, bro. They just they got it. Like that's they got nice. it. <laughs> Word. Well, shit. Thank you for the time. I appreciate those part. Oh. The strike is over. The SAG strike is over? The SAG strike is over. Shut the, the strike fuck is up. Over. Wait, 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 wait. You lying, bro. I swear to God. Wait, wait. Show me, show me. The SAG strike is over. This is crazy. It's During the interview. Time, the... I'm not making this up. It's oh, oh shit. My. All right, bro. Hey. Cheers. Cheers, man. man. Henny and Mango. Perfect hey, fucking nigga. timing. Hey, yo. The Come strike on. is over. That's kind of fire. I can cry right now. Yo, that's it. Yo, give that nigga a hug. Give that nigga a hug. Oh, shit. Oh, I can eat again! We have his money! I can eat money! No, we lit. Now, hold up. I got, we fucking lit. Oh, Emotional as fuck. Wow. 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 Hey. Thank you so much for the time, man. This has been awesome. This has been months in the fucking making. I, I still can't believe I'm here and this shit happened. This is crazy. Real one. Best show. The best show. The best show on television. Yep. Real one show. You heard it here first, man. The goats. Hell yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Man, this is awesome. The strike is over. Oh, that's crazy. This strike is over. This strike is over. Hey, buddy. I got some.
the moment that Zach Fox found out. The right. The moment that, that, that Brick Squirrel found out. Whoa. Oh. It's like the worst 9-11 moment.